Never underestimate the power of the little things. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's the small things in life that really count. <laughs> and when we're trying to make these grand gestures, maybe a grand gesture is nice every now and again, but it's, it's the everyday little things that really count. So make something count in your day to day and listen to Get Real with the English, English sisters. sisters because that's what we're going to be talking about how you can make the difference to your day by focusing on the little things that make that difference. Yeah, noticing how they uh, they impact the quality of your life, I would say, for your life and and the people around you. Well, it's like when you go to a hotel and you see a little chocolate on the bed. Yes, that's it. That's exactly what I was thinking about. It's a small detail, isn't Even it? Even if you don't like chocolate, it's just that little thing that someone's taking that extra care. care. Yeah, it's it's a small gesture of saying, "Oh, hello." You know, I know they they've been trained to leave them, but you know, it's it's I'm really so trained. Well, they've been, you know, it's training, it's part of the training, isn't it? To leave, like, chocolates and uh, for the stuff. We... <laughs> it's part of hotel training, I imagine. It just sounds funny the way you said it, trained. <laughs> it's training, yeah. It's the way they've been, you know, they're, they're, it's, is that not the way, the correct way of saying it, training? Probably, but it's part of their, like, philosophy, isn't it? Oh, you mean the hotel management yes. philosophy? But yeah. I was actually thinking of the staff. Yeah, you're thinking for of the staff, I was job. imagine it was like part of the job training is well, to is to make everything beautiful and then leave the little special flower or whatever it is. Well, it's or just like saying hello. Homage, yeah, definitely like saying hello. But these small things are so important, like in not just for businesses, as we know they are for business, because as you were saying it is important but also for relationships as well what about that what about small things make a difference there well i think when you do those little small gestures you add to the love bank don't you the love bank is when you put little things into that love bank to make that person love you more <laughs> yeah <sure> it, <laughs> yeah yeah i do remember that concept when it first came out yeah <laughs> well i used to use that and say oh you're not going to get points in your love bank to my husband yeah or that's added extra points, yeah, or it takes them away. I remember that. What was it? It's like the idea that it's... I don't know. If you look it up, you'll probably find out who said it. But it's um, it's just the 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 concept of it is that if yeah. you, whatever you're doing to, to your for your partner or helping your partner... It's like giving you points, day, isn't it? It's giving you like little love points. It'll yeah. add to the love bank to make them love you more. But really, it's to, to, it's to make them feel as if you love them. I suppose it's the opposite. Is that you sh it's how you show your love for someone? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, like, if you make your your partner say coffee in the morning because you know yeah. they like coffee, yeah. it's a sweet gesture, isn't it? You make them a cup of tea, a cup of coffee. Yeah, those are the versa, small things. Vice that, versa. Yeah, that kind of do you count. Give someone though. a hug in the morning. It's these little gestures that you can often take for granted, especially if you're rushing around and you don't think about them, but. It's just that I suppose it's because what really it comes down to is that you're coming out of your own head and all your own issues and concerns you might have and all the anxiety that you may yeah. have. And you're going into someone else's head sort of thinking, Their OK, world, I'm going yeah. to do this for them. So you're thinking about them, aren't you? Oh, yeah, showing. Uh, yes, exactly. You're thinking about them. It's like bringing them a coffee in bed, for yeah. example. That's a really kind, sweet gesture. Yeah. I think I've got to get that one back again. I used to have that. <laughs> I used to be so spoiled it, with the you? breakfast in bed. But it can yeah. also be the opposite. For instance, yesterday, mm -hmm. my husband normally makes me a coffee after dinner because he knows that I really like yeah. it and it's a really sweet gesture. But I saw he was really tired yesterday, so I so made my you own made... coffee. Oh, and I, oh, said, I thought oh, I'm made... making. No, mm. I said, no, he didn't want one. So I, I said, I'm making my own coffee so that so that you, because I know that you're tired, and he really appreciated it. Yeah. So sometimes it can be like the opposite thing. You can do, you can turn it around and do the opposite to yeah, what, because yeah. you know that they're making an effort for you. So if you see that they're really tired and overwhelmed, you can say, well, I'm going to do it for myself today because I know how 
how tired you are. And that's, <laughs> it's really sweet. He really loved it. He because you made your you. own coffee. Well, because I was there and I was just making my own coffee, yeah. And I said, look, Instead I, of I said, expecting no, darling, him, yeah. I'm making my own coffee tonight because I know you're, you're really tired. And he really appreciated he said, it, oh, yeah. thank you, darling. Well, you were taking yeah. something off his, like, little to-do list because yeah. he knows that he's, like, you know, he does that for you every day. Yeah, but it's like so, a sweet thing It was a does. sweet. It's a little sweet thing that he does. He doesn't have to make you coffee. Of course not. Because it's a sweet gesture. Yeah, it's one part of those lovely small gestures yeah. we were talking about. That the, the foundation, they're the building blocks of many relationships and of most of the world's way of communicating, if we think about it. It's in everything. It's in businesses. It's in, it's in relationships. It's in, within your family. It's, it's, it's giving somebody a goodnight kiss or a goodnight, you know, whatever, hug. You know, that it's all these small things. That, it's uh, like when you're in the hospital as well, if you have, if you, if you, um, like if you have a nurse or a doctor that just touches your arm or holds your hand, what a difference it can make. It's, it's, you feel understood, you feel heard. It's, it's just so comforting. Yeah, absolutely. It's, yeah, you're right, in the hospital, because when, when you're in a moment of need, it's that mm. tiny, small gesture. It can make such a Gosh, huge difference. Gosh, I remember it. I remember it when I was in the hospital. Exactly. Yeah. Gosh. Just the nurse being so, I just thought, God, you're like, thank you. Thank you for that touch, you know, amongst everything else. It was just this lovely, warm touch, you know, just just consoling. Absolutely, yeah. And I think people don't really realise that it's these little differences that can make such a huge difference to your day and to your life in the end. Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. I was wondering who actually was saying that about the small differences oh yeah what about putting your phone away when someone's talking like that's, that's a horrible. big hot I topic at that. the moment yeah i hate that if i'm talking to someone and they've got their on their phone i no. mean obviously i don't say anything but, but i feel it's... as if i i'd actually i stop talking yeah you have to don't you well i feel as if you're not i'm not being given the the, the mm. fully the full attention that yeah now that I, 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 I mean i don't really think that's a small gesture i would consider that quite a big gesture if I somebody actually it's rude yeah yeah <laughs> well if you're talking but it's like we're talking with people that you're very intimate with not people that no, you don't if know we're intimate like at dinner yesterday yeah. we don't have our phones at dinner we're, they're, no. they're, they're, they're yeah. in the other room yeah i agree with that and i think if we have when we're sitting at the table if you have your phone unless you go and get it because you're looking at something or you see a phone call or something you have to answer but yeah yeah absolutely. you're not just on your phone looking at your scrolling through stuff when you're talking to someone else you're not really there are you I mean, now it's been you proven, for yeah. instance, that in offices, the oh, the open plan offices, people do a lot less work. They're a lot less. They're a lot more stressed, and they they're less focused as well than in like before when you have your own office when it's noisy. Really? Yeah. Oh, I thought that might build some kind of no, community it's the sense. All oh, right. Because that's the reason why it was made, wasn't it? Yeah, to have it's these. Actually, the opposite. People get really stressed. They get overstimulated, overburdened. Oh gosh, I bet you they do. Yeah, sometimes it's. You have to think we weren't even technologically about a hundred years ago. There I was know. nothing. I mean, the radio came round when it was first invented. It was like the first technological yeah. thing that would actually come into our into our space, homes. Yeah, you're apart right. Apart from the li apart from literature. Yeah, nowadays it is a lot of the small gestures are a lot around the phone, I think, <laughs> of, of putting your phone away and giving, you know, that idea. Yeah, you're right about that. I don't know how much that is a small gesture or really massive. Imagine if you're mm. on a date or something and the other person's always got their phone out, always checking it constantly. Or scrolling, yeah. It's like what we learned when we were therapists. If you look at, like, even if you look at your watch or your phone, it's yeah. like saying, I've had enough of you now. It's un it's. It it's Body a clear language. rapport yeah you're you're breaking rapport with somebody you are actually obviously yeah yeah you're right yeah it's a clear signal to that person that you're not really that interested in what they're saying mm. well yeah all well, time's up yeah <laughs> and that's literally means time's up for you and my time that I can give you is up Go yeah on. so it's yeah it's, it's actually really very very uh, abrupt 
So, yeah, it's those small things. So let's put that in as really kind of a small thing, but really it's a really big thing to actually put your phone away when somebody is talking to you or have it on mute or something, you know, put it in your pocket, get, you know, that's a gesture that shows somebody that, look, I'm going to give you my, I'm going to give you some eye contact here. I think eye contact has become like so precious nowadays. It's so important to give it. It's so rare, isn't it? It's rare. It really is rare. Rare in families, rare when you're talking to your kids, rare when you're talking to your spouse, your partner. It's always about rushing around and not not, not stopping to look into someone's eyes. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> and that's where the real connection is made, though. Absolutely. Well, for instance, yesterday I'm just thinking, I was talking to my daughter, On I was really tired, it was in the evening, Normally when I talk to her and I work out, I go, I'd already been working out all day, doing things all day. So I was just sitting on the settee and I just had my earbuds in. I was talking to my daughter and that, that's what I was doing. The TV was off. No one was in the room. And uh, I, I wasn't on my device. The phone was next to me on one side because obviously it was a call that I needed yeah, the phone you to were be taken, on. Yeah. But I was just there. I was just talking to her 100% and she wasn't even in the room with me. No. So I could have been on my devices scrolling through yeah, other things. Yeah, but you can tell when talking. they're not listening and... to you properly, though. I can. Like, if, if, if I'm talking to somebody and even through a WhatsApp call and they're going, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, you can tell. It's like when you say, what are you doing? You're working. I know when yeah. you're on the phone I can't, else. I can't hide it. It's, it's just not, there. there's not. <laughs> but that was like quality time that I had with my daughter who's in London at the minute, and it was like, we spent like three hours on the phone, and it was just total, full immersion in that conversation with yeah. her, while she, yeah. was, oh, she was on her way home, she was walking, making her dinner and everything, but it was full, she wasn't on her devices, I wasn't on mine, and it's that, I think, what, I think that's, that's, really that's like, connect, and that's so precious, and it's what doesn't happen very often nowadays. Well, it has to happen more. So we have to so put it in more to, like, I think yeah. For your own mental well-being and for you to relieve your own anxiety, it is so important to focus on that individual just doing one thing, just focusing on one thing, basically, even if it's just a little thing. Even like if you, you might think, yeah, it's boring. You know, I don't, I don't want to be sitting here at breakfast with my family because you might think it's boring. You know, I'd rather be scrolling. Oh, yeah. And and that laughing at the little cat videos or something, and uh, and I can appreciate they're funny those videos, some of them, and you know it's fun to be, but then you you will miss out, and you you are not giving that clear sign that you're really connecting with the people around you. So it is important. So it's a little to do thing. That. That it's a little thing. Makes such a huge huge difference to your life. Yes, yes. And to others as well, because others will, they will bathe in that attention that you're giving them and they'll, 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 they'll really relish it and think, this is really special because unfortunately in today's world, you don't get that much of it. You don't, you really don't. It's quite rare. And uh, absolutely. And then you remember these things. Yeah. And I could have been just watching a, a film or doing some work online. I could have been doing something else. But no, I was talking to my daughter. So that's what you... That's what you, 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 that's what you would attention. do if she was in the room. If she was in the room, yeah. I wouldn't be on my device. I'd be talking to her. Yeah. Like when she comes over for Christmas or whatever, we spend hours chatting. Yeah, you Which do. is still rare because not that many people do that now. No. No, I agree. Yeah, it's very, very important. It's like holding hands again, you know, that's like a really small gesture. Sometimes at the end of the evening when I'm really tired, I don't really know what to do much. So just to connect right, with my hubby, I might just sit next to him and just hold hands. And then that's a very small gesture, gesture but I know it means a lot, you know. <laughs> to, to him, I know it means a lot because he loves connecting, you know, physically. So even if it's really small... It's not for him, you know, so it's a small gesture that I do or like, you know, a small, a gentle caress when you're driving in the car, just like a little, it's a little touch. It's, it's very, very small, but it's like, it's like a big deal. It's like the blocks. I think it's, it's like the blocks. The most, yeah. It's the most important things in life in the end, the little things. 
that yeah. are underestimated and undervalued, they're the ones that really count. They do. They're just everyday little things. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So what are the little things that you're going to do that will make a huge difference to your life? Yeah, daily, small... Sometimes it can even be just something you do just for yourself, like taking a five-minute walk, looking at a tree, appreciating the leaves on the tree. You know, we're coming into the seasons where the trees look so beautiful, so you can just stop and appreciate them, and then you'll see that it just makes such a difference to your day as well, just that little thing. Absolutely. Small gestures. For yourself so, too. We know that a lot of you follow us and have not yet subscribed, so it makes a huge difference to the show. We are continuously growing, so please do hit that subscribe or follow button and please do come and see us on YouTube as well where you can see us in person on video. <laughs> <laughs> hope to. Yeah, I hope that, that you message us and we'll be in contact. It'll be yeah. lovely. Stay tuned. Lots of love and smiles from the... English, English sisters. Bye-bye.